today. These are the members from the Heart Changers Baptist Church. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I can guarantee you, you are in for a treat this evening. You all are very familiar with um, the word that your pastor speaks. I'm not very familiar with it, but I know it's going to be powerful tonight. Tonight, uh, our theme for uh, 2023 here at Servants for Christ Baptist Church is rededicate and recommit. And it's taken from the book of Proverbs, the third chapter. The fifth and sixth verse reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. And that's what we're looking for this evening, some direction from the word of God. Right now, um, let's uh, have our um, invocation, our prayer of invocation. Um, we could all uh, still ourselves uh, while we go to the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening so thankful to be here. Father, looking forward to worshiping with you. Father, we are uh, so happy to be here. We uh, invite your spirit into this place to move in and among us to revive us, Father and uh, be with us. Give us an awakening like we've never had before. Give us fresh fire, Father, so that we can go out and preach your word to a dying world. Father God, we ask you to bless those who are here. Please keep those who are on their way, on their way safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we uh, ask you to uh, be with us. May your word uh, dwell in us and Make us doers of your word, Father, as we go forward to build up your kingdom. Father, we ask these blessings in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now is the time. Um, uh, brother, you got a song for us, or you want to um, just, well, we're going to sing a couple of songs. So. Okay. I am on the battlefield. Oh my lord
Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Yes. Humble themselves and pray uh -huh. and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Oh, Amen. 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 This time in the uh, revival service, uh, we'd like to uh, give testimony. Praise the Lord. Um, just uh, what God has done for you uh, this week, this month, this year. Uh, how Jesus. Uh, saved you, uh, you know, anything you know about the goodness of God and you want to share it with us this evening. Praise Amen. the Lord. Anybody want to start? Amen. Oh, praise Amen. the Lord, Amen. sister. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a stranger, not, not uh, among God's people or in the house of God. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. And I tell you what is good to be alive, uh, first giving honor to, to God, who is really the head of my life and Although I'm not what I should be, I'm not what I, you know, what I ought to be. But I thank God I'm not what I used to be. Amen. So I thank God for, um, oh, I'm sorry, first giving praise to God, honor uh, the, the minister of this great house uh, and uh, my pastor, uh, L.K. Floyd uh, II, uh, and all the saints here. Just thank God for being here. Uh, I just want to thank God for, for saving my soul. Amen. I thank God for his grace and for his mercy. Yes. And I tell you, I show sure enough need it. I thank God for things that, that people take advantage of, such as a reasonable portion of health and strength. Amen. Thank God for clothes on my back and shoes for my feet. Thank God for uh, a regulated mind. Some people may not think so, but I thank God for a regulated mind. Food for my table. Thank God for my husband. He's not here tonight, but uh, he's usually here with me. But I thank God for him. I thank God for the people of God. Um, I thank God just for being here. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that um, it's good to be alive. Every time that we get an opportunity to say something about the glory of God, mm -hmm. we had better open our mouths because the reality is. This really may be our last time. Amen. And time is just running, 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 running. Next thing you know, I've lost my brother, my youngest brother, my sister within the last couple of years. You know, just losing family members after family members. And I just thank God for the strength that he's given me. And I'm not complaining. Hallelujah. I shall not complain. I thank God and I thank him for him giving me the strength to make it through. Ask the saints to just be praying for me. I'm not going to take up all the time, but because you know some people can go on and on and on, and, and I'm one of those because you don't know where I come from. You all don't know my testimony. But I thank God for being here. I've talked to Reverend Hamilton a lot of times, and me and her, we kind of like sisters. We, we have our words and everything, but I tell you who can get a prayer through, and that's this lady right here. So I just thank God you know, for the people of God, because we show up need one another. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. One of the uh, scriptures that uh, talks about revival comes from Psalm 80, uh, verse 19. Restore us, O Lord, God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Amen. 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 Anybody else got a testimony for the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, I just thank God for uh, just being able to come out tonight. And I thank God for my church, for my bishop and my first the first lady. Praise the Lord. I thank God for each one of my church members. Amen. All right. And I just thank God. I thank God for even though uh, for my healing tonight, as I Amen. 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 And I thank God that uh, even though it hurts a little bit, that I'm still able to continue on moving on for the Lord because uh, what they say it's only what you do for God that will count. And I just thank God that. Uh, I'm just able still to move. I might be moving a little slower now, 
but I'm still able I'm to still move open. and Amen. do as required. So, and I'm, I just thank God that we having a revival because Hallelujah. everybody needs to be revived. In these times after all that we have been through, we need to be revived. Amen. 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 We need yes. to be rebooted and rededicated. Yes. And I just thank God and I just thank God for my guests that are here tonight and Amen. everyone. So, amen. Just praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister. And um, we will... Um, uh, offer up a prayer uh, for those who are experiencing health challenges and yeah. any other kind of challenges um, later on in our service. Um, I'll give my testimony. I am uh, just thankful to be with you all. Um, I was uh, fortunate enough to go on some uh, leisure travel and every flight I was on had terrible turbulence. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Mm -hmm. And I, I was starting to get scared, but then I said, I know where I'm going. I know who's going to be there with me. And if it's my time, if my assignment is done, you know, what else can you do about it? it, it, it uh, so, so I just calmed myself down, went back to sleep, and, and just rode that plane all the way. <laughs> all the way, uh, on, you know. On my leisure travel and all the way home, it was it was fine, and that is um, something, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we are so fortunate to ha have that peace Amen. that God will give us when we call on Him and ask Him to be with us and to save us and help us. That peace that He will give you, it Amen. is worth more than gold. Amen. 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 I'm thankful, like the sister. That I'm thankful for my salvation yes. that I get to experience that peace. Is there um, is there another testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ? Good evening, yes. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. I just like to give honor to my Lord the Savior, and I like to say um, I'm happy to see you all here. Um, Heart Changes Church is nice to see you all, as well as Serve for Christ Baptist Church. I'm glad to see you all. In the absence of our uh, pastor, Bishop Jerry Jones, I just bring you greetings. He um, would like me to say hello to you all. He's happy you're here and to continue to pray for him as he is in Guyana. He mm -hmm. landed there yes. yesterday and yes. so far the trip has been very well. And I thank God for that. And you know what? I, I thank God for waking up this morning. Yeah. 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 I thank him for that because in the last week, um, <laughs> well, I knew of two deaths. And then on my way over here, um, a co-worker of mine, he retired last year and passed this morning. Oh, and, you, and you know, you never know. People look like the picture of health, and you get a call and say, well, this person's going on to be with the Lord. And, and you know, we have to be ready, because sure as you're born, one day we're going to leave this world. But we know it's time for us to really get serious about what we need to do while we're in this world. Because right. we won't be here forever, and we know where we want to go, and we hope all of us will be seeing each other there. Yes. So I, I just say thank you for um, traveling mercies. Praise thank you for, um, let me say good afternoon and good evening to you all. And I, I just thank you for life and being oh, able to know Lord. my Lord and Savior and what he has done for me and what how he's blessed me in all these years. And um, I, I'm, I'm just thankful. I'm, I'm really just thankful, and that's all I wanted to say tonight. I'm, I'm thankful that, you know, he just brought me through, and, and and we're here, and we're going to hear a mighty word. I can't wait to hear your pastor. Okay, Lord, because I know he's going to bring the word. I've heard him preach before, so I know about it. <laughs> so I'm going to take my seat, and if another person have a testimony, um, feel free. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I command my hands to praise the Lord. I command my hands.
<laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. On the behalf of Pastor Hell K. Floyd and the Archangel Baptist Church, we want to say thank you for inviting us here tonight. And we know that we will have a great time. So thank you once, thank you twice, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. and a voice you'll hear after that. Oh, I'm out of order. Uh, now is the time for the offer. Amen. 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 So, uh, we'll ask you, uh, you want to take the basket around? I can. Okay. okay. Um, say a quick prayer over the offer real quick. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for this offer. We thank you for the opportunity to give back portion of that which you've given to us. Father, your word says that you love a cheerful giver, Father, and we have cheerfully given back this offering to you. Blessed Father, may it do the work in building your kingdom that you uh, so order, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. So that means he's a country boy. 
He's from Sumter, South Carolina. He is the third of seven children. <coughs> Pastor Floyd accepted Christ at the age of 14 and joined the Holy Trinity Missionary Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. He was licensed to preach December of 2001. And as the Spirit led him, Pastor Floyd joined the Liberty Baptist Church of Washington, D.C., under the leadership of the late Reverend Dr. Richard Rice. On the June 18, 2005, at Liberty Baptist Church, he was ordained as a youth pastor. He became the youngest minister in the 149-year history of the church. In 2018, the Missionary Baptist Ministers Conference of D.C. and vicinity, in its 134th year, elected him as the youngest president of the conference that they have had. That says a lot from a country boy. Yes. <laughs> Pastor Floyd is the founder and the president of the Coalition of Churches and Community USA. Amen. He also serves as the second vice president of the National Catholic Baptist Convention of Washington, D.C. and the Senate. Yes. He is a board member of the Star Baptist Nursing Home. He is the chairman of the Board of Stars Performing Arts. He is the noble grand of the Union Fellowship Lodge 891 of GUOOF and deputy district grand master of District Grand Lodge 20, Washington, D.C. Amen. We happen to be affiliated with majority, if not most, of these things. Mm -hmm. So he is no stranger to our past. Praise the Lord. I would say sit in your tent doors, but we get too comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say sit upright <laughs> because it's revival time. Amen. Amen. All right, then. We've been through a lot in three years, and we're still going through what they consider to be a pandemic. Yeah. But don't you know a million people have done left this earth and we still hit? Hallelujah. Amen. So that means God not through with you yet. Yes. Pastor Floyd, do you have a choir here today? Yes. Okay. okay. So we're going to ask Amen. the guest choir to come and give us two selections. Amen. Amen. And after that, none, Amen. Choir. none Amen. other than that, we will hear from the Reverend L.K. Floyd of our Chamber Baptist Church. Amen. 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 Let's Amen. Give them a
because you're our all in all. Yes. Yes. We thank you because you are a way maker. You are our all in all. Yes. So God, we pray, God, as we come before your presence, that you would have your way in this place. Yes. We pray, oh God, that you would move by your spirit, Lord, because we know that you are our strength. Because of that, we just say thank you right now. Yes. Yes. God, we pray that you would move all worthy cares and burdens from our mind. Yes. That we'll be able to stand and declare your word, yes. the riches of your truth. Yeah. Have your own way in this place. Yes. God, we give you the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Jesus is the Our souls say amen. Amen. Then he sprang up the light 
in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Amen. Then he said, Believe on Lord Jesus, thou shalt be saved, you and thy house. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. For a few preaching moments, I want to preach from the sermon title, A Miracle at Midnight. Amen. 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 How do you know God still works miracles? Amen. Even in the midnight hour. Amen. And for a sub thought, I want to talk from the subject, shake it up. All right. All right. <laughs> shake it up. My brothers and sisters, when we look at miracles, we, we remember that a miracle is a supernatural act of God. Uh -huh. A miracle is something that science cannot explain that history cannot refute, and mathematics cannot calculate. Mm -hmm. Although we're living in a modern, postmodern, secular, humanistic society where everybody believes in everything but the power of God, I'm foolish enough to believe that miracles still happen. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, I said I believe uh -huh. that miracles still happen. Yes, there yes. are some things that science can't explain. Yes, uh, amen. Science can uh, explain uh, the, the rain, but science can't explain the depth of a teardrop. I'm sorry, there are some things that science cannot explain. And even though we believe in all the technological advances, my brothers and sisters, there are some things that science can't explain. Uh, it's amazing that that science can fly you to the moon but can't cure cancer. Oh, yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's amazing that man can walk on the moon and, and, and go and find water on other planets, but, but yet there's a water shortage in the world. It, it, it's amazing when you look at this, those things. So that lets me know that God is in control. Yes. Amen. Yes. When you yes. look at it, when things get beyond your control, that they're in the control of an all-knowing, almighty God. When, when you were driving in that car and you could have been in an accident and you should have been in an accident and somehow or another you made it through, let me tell you, that ain't nothing but the power of God. Amen. 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 One year we were we were riding from a service and it was snowing outside and while I was driving the car started doing donuts in the middle of 95 and, and I couldn't explain how it was that I'm in the middle of the ice and the snow and piled up because I wanted to go to church I ain't gonna be there no more but I wanted to go to church and while I'm in the middle of cars were shooting past me blowing the horn and while I'm going in the circle I remember what the old folks used to sing when I was a little boy all day and all night the angels keep watching over me my Lord if anybody here knows that God's power is still real all day still happen is here in Acts chapter number 16, Reverend Hamilton and Paul and Silas are preaching the gospel and as a result, things began to happen. Yeah. Paul and Silas are preaching the good news of Jesus Christ and how many know that the good news will do two things? It will either make you happy or make you sad. I, I wish y'all heard me. Somebody on Facebook land or, or YouTube land or some land ought to say something. Uh, amen. I said the gospel will either make you happy or make you sad. Amen. Amen. This in this particular case, uh, it made some folks sad. There was a woman who had divination spirit. She was like Miss Cleo. She she was a soothsayer, yes. and, and what she did was she was running after Paul and Silas, and Paul and said, "Hey." In the name of Jesus, delivered her, and as a result, she no longer had the same spirit. I mean, you know when God contacts you, and when you're in contact with the holy, that your spirit can't be the same. Your thinking can't be the same. The way you live can't be the same. The way you act can't be the same. The way things you view things. 
things and the way you do things can't be the same. When she encountered Jesus, she put down her little crystal ball. Hello, somebody. I, I, I know y'all were getting fortune cookies, but could you get that? Could you see that fortune? Come on, somebody. She put down her crystal ball and began not to follow her master, but began to follow a new master. Uh, amen. Not an earthly master, but a master who rules the universe. Began to follow Jesus, and as a result, people got mad. Yeah. 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 Her owners yeah. got mad. They called the manuscript. They called the officials. And Paul and Silas are thrown in the prison, not for doing wrong, but they were thrown in the prison for doing right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I know sometimes people tell you that doing wrong will get you in trouble, but, but, but when you are walking with God and doing everything right, sometimes you wonder, how in the world can I get in trouble for doing in the right thing. Okay. They, 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 they're thrown in the prison. They're, they're not thrown into uh, amen, a modern prison. Come on, somebody. They didn't, yeah. they didn't have no TV. They didn't have no car, nothing like that. Uh, amen. You know Tay Tay and Boo Boo and all them. Uh, amen. They didn't have none of those things. They were thrown into a Roman jail. The, they, they threw away the key. They were in a dungeon. It was dark and it was dismal. Uh, Amen. It was a, a, a jury place. Did y'all hear the dark this morning? Jury. Uh, amen. Uh, you ought to say amen just for that. Amen. Put together, dark, jury, and dismal. It was dark, jury, and dismal. And while they're in the Roman prison, and while they're there, they could have had a breakdown. Uh, yes. And how do you know that sometimes we can find ourselves in a prison in life? Yes. Yes. It seems like we're bound and we're shackled and we're dealing with so much stuff that's holding us down. And Keeping us down and keeping a frown on our face. They are in prison. They are shackled one to another. They're in a dark, dreary, and dismal place. But the Bible says in Acts 16 25 that at midnight, wow. at midnight, amen, at midnight. Amen. Yeah. Paul and Silas. Uh, yeah. at, at, at midnight that Paul and Silas began to pray and sing praise, uh, praises unto God. Let me say that one more yeah. time. I said at midnight uh, yeah. that Paul and Silas uh, began to pray and sing Let me say it one more time. Uh -huh. Y'all, uh, amen. You're not even listening. Y'all, you so in my life. Thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow at work and thinking about how your feet hurt from standing all day at work and thinking about what happened on last week and thinking about this. I said at midnight. At midnight. Now, now when you look at this, what is interesting is that midnight is the breaking point between the anti-meridian and the post-meridian. That midnight is the breaking point between night and morning. Yeah. See, some of us think that morning is when the sun comes up. Mm. But how do you know that morning is not when the sun comes up, but morning is when time shifts? Amen. And see, the thing about it is sometimes you may be in a dark place in your life and you're waiting to see the sunshine, but really the morning is already here. It says at midnight in the middle of the night, which is probably dark and dismal and dreary, just like the circumstances yeah. that they were dealing with at midnight. Uh, somebody say midnight. Uh, midnight in the middle of the night in a dark place uh, at midnight is morning. Amen. And I want to tell somebody who's going through a dark situation, going through a dark circumstance where you don't know what you're going to do and how you're going to make it through. I want to let you know that God still works in the midnight hour. Uh, so you think about it, you're waiting to see the sunshine. But the good thing is that weeping may endure for a night. But the good thing is that joy comes in the morning. It may be dark outside, but it's still morning. It may not, it may take hours for the light to come up. But if anybody can give God praise, it's still morning. I may not understand what I'm going through and why I'm going through it, but is there anybody can give God praise that it's still morning? Somebody shout 
midnight. Midnight. Paul and Silas began to pray uh, and sing praises unto God. Yeah. I wish you would give me about six and a half more minutes and I'll be through out your way. They began to pray and sing praises. Yeah. Somebody say they prayed. They prayed. They prayed. And, they and they prayed. And they prayed. They prayed. They prayed. They prayed. And they pray. And they pray. They pray. They pray. And they pray. And they pray. When you look at prayer, my brothers and sisters, uh, that prayer is our direct connection with God. Amen. That prayer is when nothing meets something. Yes. Prayer, Bishop Jones, I know you're watching in Africa, yeah. is when our needs meet God's supply. Yes. Prayer is when our sickness meets God's uh, amen power to heal. That prayer is when our trouble meets God's triumph. Yes. That prayer is when nothing meets something. Yes. That prayer is when, when, when the floor meets heaven. Is there anybody here know uh, that prayer stands for push? Uh, hey. yes. uh, I like to say push, pray. pray until something happens. Uh, but you yes. also got to push. Yes. You ought to yes. prepare until something happens. Uh, yes. You ought to push. push. You ought to praise until something happens. Yes. You got, you got to push. You got, you got to push through the struggle. You got, you got to push through the pain. You got to push through the family circumstance. You got to push on your job. You got to push in your home. You got to, you, 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 got, to, you got to push. You got to, you got to push. You got to push. And, and, and so notice, there's a difference between uh, a man pushing and shoving. I'm just doing a little bit, but when you push, you gotta, you gotta get in there. You gotta push. You know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta push. And, yeah. and so when you look at this, they began to pray. My God. And sing praises uh -huh. under God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Notice that they didn't have a pity party. They didn't do like many of us do. Say nobody knows the troubles I see. Well. Nobody knows my sorrow. Uh -huh. They didn't get on the telephone and tell somebody about uh -huh. how I said telephone. I said hello. Both of y'all ain't telling nothing but hell. Uh, uh -huh. they, they, uh, uh, they, they, they didn't go and complain about it. They didn't talk to their girlfriends or their best friends about it. But what they did was they began to talk to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says Bible. that at midnight, Paul and Silas uh -huh. began to pray and sing praises unto God. Oh, yes. But don't miss this part because some of us miss the semicolon and the prisoners heard them. Yes. <clears throat> Why is it so important to know that the prisoners were listening to them? Mm -hmm. Because there are some folks who are watching and listening yes. at how you handle your midnight experience. Yes. 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 You're walking around with your eight man baptized and limit yourself and, and, and you walk around talking about this is the day the Lord has made and, and then when something goes wrong you losing your mind. Oh, yeah. but, but, but when you look at this they were in the midnight hour and, and, and while they're in the midnight hour the Bible said the prisoners heard them. Yes. Uh, you you, you got to keep in mind that somebody listening. Somebody's listening. Somebody's Somebody listening. watching. Yes. You say I believe in God, I believe but God. you ain't acting like it. Yes. You say God is a healer, you still talk about I'm sick. Yes. You still say God will make ways, and you still talk about I'm broke. Yes. You talk about God gonna do it, and you say God can't. Yes. You say God is good all the time, but you looking like He bad. Yes. That, that the prisoners heard them, yes. but 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 my brothers and sisters, there's more because although they heard them, the Bible said and suddenly. See, sometimes God will cause things to suddenly happen. That's right. yes. You may not, amen, you ain't got to make it happen. Mm, that's right. How many know prayer can do what you can't do? Yes, yes. How many know praise can do what you can't yes. explain? Yes. The Bible said it suddenly there was a great earthquake. Uh -huh. And when you look at an earthquake, an earthquake shakes the foundations of wherever you are. Uh -huh. I remember a few years ago I was working uh, and I remember I was in the basement of EPA and the ground began to shake. Uh -huh. yeah. And I realized something. I said, Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you, honey. I, <laughs> I, I thought the world was in it. Uh -huh. But how many know that God knows how to shake things up? Yeah. 
I, I know it may not make sense to you, but, yeah. but God can shake it up. Yes, he can. Somebody say, even in the midnight hour, God shake it up. Yes, he can. God can shake up your circumstances. Shake it up. God can shake up your haters. Shake it up. It's going to cause people that don't even like it, don't even know why they like it now. Just, yeah. just shake it up. God, shake it up. God can shake up your circumstances. Yeah. God can shake up your ministry. Yeah. You'll go from two, three, four, five, and then all of a sudden 150,000 because God has a way of shaking things up. Shake it up. Has anybody ever asked the Lord to shake it up? Yeah. The Bible said they shook the foundation of the prisoners where they were. Well, and immediately the doors were open. Uh, and everyone's bands were loose. Yes. That's all I wanted to tell you is that God knows how to shake it up. Yes. Is there anybody here that ever said, Lord, I need you well, to turn something around? Yes. I don't know about you, but whatever circumstance you're in, yes. say, Lord, shake it up. Yes. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. But the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray and sing praises unto God. And uh, the prisoners heard them. Y'all don't got to say amen because I'm already there. And the prisoners heard them. Do I have me a witness? And the Bible says uh, that earth equilibrium began to break.
train. Uh, yeah. 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 Come on now. Sam Cook told you a change was coming at midnight. <laughs>
close me, you can open the door to church and, and benediction for us. Amen. 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 Somebody came here today, Lord, that, that had trouble in their, in their view. But we thank you, God, that you're shaking up trouble right now. We thank you, God, that you are turning circumstances and situations around. We, we thank you because we know that there's power in you. Oh, God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh, God, that you'll continue to show yourself strong. Let them know that you're bright light. Even in dark times. We, we claim right now the victory. We claim blessings right now. We claim blessings. Won't you give God praise? We claim better days of joy. We declare and decree that God is doing it right now. So right now we pray God for the immediate turnaround. We pray for a breakthrough right now. God, we will not break down. But Lord, we shall break through. And God, we give you the glory. God, we give you all the honor. God, we give you the praise that do your name. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We give God praise today. Thank you so much. Heart changers can give our praise to those who heart changers make it. certainly keep all those who uh, somebody's on the way but not here yet. <laughs> I guess you miss service. <laughs> it's a good service. Amen. Most certainly we're thankful to be here and we pray for Bishop Jones. I'm going to say a prayer for him on my uh, at my closing. We thank God for Bishop Jones having me here. Thank you uh, Brother Kendall and also our preachers here. Can we give our preachers a hand as well? Amen. Amen, amen. This is probably the earliest you ever going to get out of church. <laughs> amen, but thank the Lord. We're thankful to God. Uh, listen, we're, we want to close out uh, with our um, prayer and benediction. We know as we leave this place, we'll never leave his presence. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like
that you'll bless Bishop Jones and Lady Jones, Lord, and we bless and pray that you'll bless this entire church service of Christ. Bless Bishop Jones that he will have safe traveling mercies as he is across the continental shores. Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this awesome time that you had in fellowship. And now, God, as we leave this place, we pray that we shall never, ever leave your presence. In Jesus' name, May the grace of God and the sweet of the Holy Spirit rest from the body with us all henceforth and